Hey, what's going on? I'm Tiffany Bacon, and I am your cultural ambassador and radio host of Radio 1 Philadelphia. Welcome to my very first ever vlog. So it's a vlog, video log, whatever the young folks call it, that's what this is. And I'm going to simply call my vlog The Review. It's where I'm going to review for you concerts, movies, any kind of show, theatrical performances, anything at all that I think you might be interested in. I'm going to go check it out, and then I'm going to let you know how it was. Good? Good. So you'll be able to see my vlogs pretty regularly. As often as I get to shows, I will do a vlog just for you. So today, the vlog, the review, is on Chem. Mr. Chemistry, Mr. Smooth Operator himself, passed through Philadelphia on September 16th, 2011, and performed at the Man Music Center along with Kelly Price and Melanie Fiona. First of all, let me just say, there was a Judgment Day line to get in the parking lot because me and my BFF, who was celebrating her birthday, were working on CPT, along with about half of the other people who were planning to attend the show. When we finally did get to the parking lot, we could hear the sweet voice of Kelly Price billowing over the walls of the Man Music Center. This sister has been in the game for a long time, but her voice is just as strong and as fantastic as it, was, as it was when she first came on the scene. So I was already like, this is the got it on lock. I know it. We go inside. She's slimmed down. She looks great. We're enjoying the performance. Granted, we missed about half of it because we're late, but she was wonderful. Her voice was in great shape. It was interesting to see her perform to no backline, no live band. She was performing to tracks, and I guess it's because she and the other opening act need to do that to scale it down because the live band setup was for Kim. All right, I get that, but it did kind of take away from the fullness of what I know Kelly Price can bring to a show. So, that notwithstanding, we were enjoying the song. She did sing... Not your man, not your, oh, what's the name of the song? Oh, Lord, that's a shame. Um, the one she does with Stokely from Mint Condition, the new song. Well, yeah, it was good. It was missing Stokely, but it was good. She did have a surprise for us, though. She brought out at the end of her set Miss Shirley Murdoch because they did a duet of the classic 80s creep song, As We Lay. Shirley is in full voice, too. She sounds really, really good. Next up on the bill, Miss Melanie Fiona. Now, here's the thing. When Melanie came out to perform, I didn't even know who she was. There was no announcement. It was just the DJ was rolled into the center of the stage, and here comes the sister in these black pants with the white splotches and whatnot, and the, like, white tank top, and two background singer-dancer type people, and they came out on stage and started rocking the stage. I'm like, oh, this is nice. Who is this? A song and a half goes by, and I'm like, is this an a artist from Philly? Duh, then it dawned on me, this is Melanie Fiona. Melanie Fiona, second? I was interested in how they played that. Why she didn't go first and Kelly Price go second? I don't know. Either way, she did good. She gave us a little old school out in the park cooking jams. She had a DJ playing some... Uh, Frankie Beverly and Mays and a couple of other cookout jams. She sang her hits, and she sang some new stuff from her new album. All in all, I think she was pretty good. Definitely made for an interesting night. But of course, everybody was ready for Kim. Honey, folks was ready to get a hold of their chemistry. And when he finally did make the stage, nobody was disappointed. This man has so much energy, but he is suave, smooth, cool, calm, and collected, but he gets into that music, and I respect the fact that he gives you great music. First of all, he was decked out in a gray suit. You better rock, boo-boo. He was rocking that suit. <laughs> anyway, he came out. His band was amazing. Amazing. His background singers, they need their own individual contracts. I promise you they do. And he spoke to the sisters. If there was any doubt at all that his audience is predominantly female, he proved it that night. He spoke to the women to encourage them that we are 
beautiful as we are, that we need to love ourselves more, that we need to understand that we can make it without a man if we don't have one. I was like, preach, boy, preach. What church you going to be at next time? Because I'm going to be there. Holla Black. He was awesome. And it wasn't just the encouragement that he had for the women. It was the fact that he gave his own testimony about how he is thankful that his success came now and not when he was younger and doing the wrong thing. So all in all, I'll say the next time that Kim comes to your town, baby, buy a ticket. I wouldn't say hawk your car, but I would say it's worth saving the money if you know he's coming in advance. Kim had the chemistry everybody in that theater needed to feel great, to feel good, to feel uplifted, and to feel like their money was well spent. If you don't believe me, check out the video. I'm Tiffany Bacon, and that's the review. See you next time.